Are you often getting the objection, I need to think about it on your sales calls? Then the best way to overcome it is actually to overcome it in yourself because oftentimes the things that um, our prospects are saying that the objections that they have and that we have a hard time overcoming, it's because it's something that we fundamentally believe is okay to do. Like for instance, people who want to think about it. For me, that was because I'm also a person who likes to think about it and have a fear of making uh, fast decisions. Well, not have, having a fear of making fast decisions, but I always have a fear of making the wrong decision. And that's why I have to think about it. And therefore, I couldn't demand or tell my prospects that, why do you have to think about it? Because deep down, I believe that's what uh, you have the right to do. But really, it is a fear. It, it's a fear of not uh, doing the right thing and of losing your money. And even though you believe that this uh, product or service is the right thing for you, then I would also say I need to think about it. And the fear just uh, grew and grew and grew once you are out of the sales call and then you end up not doing it. And it would probably have been a benefit to me and you many of the, many of the things that I have said I need to think about. And it's the same for the prospects. If you really believe that you can help them with, solve the problem that they have, then it's your duty to try to overcome that objection. And the best way to do it, especially if it's fear related, is to be empathetic. You can tell them, yeah, I know it's very scary. I have the same fear when I have to make a decision or have to make a purchase, uh, especially when it's a lot of money. But here's what happened with me. So give them a personal story. Be very empathetic. That's the best way to do it. Um, we don't want to be pushy and uh, salesy with people. We want to be empathetic because they ha are having fear in most cases. Give me a like and uh, follow me and share. And uh, thanks for watching.